Didn't see it coming. Hi guys, hope you are doing good. I'm back with Spice and Wolf episode 11 review. At first we see Lawrence, Hollow, and Martin from the Ramirio Trading Company meet with Nora and head for Lantra. Later, Nora insists on resting, which annoys Martin. Lawrence and Hollow explain to Martin why taking a break benefits everyone. The next morning, they wander through a forest. Hollow promises to protect them from wolves. Nora's canine companion, Inek, rushes past Hollow and Lawrence to guard the sheep. Hollow tells Lawrence that Inek is wise and knows she's a wolf. Lawrence shows concern for Nora, wondering if she understands the consequences if things don't go as planned. Martin is from a company that almost made Lawrence go bankrupt, so it kinda made Lawrence look bad when he glossed over Martin's shady behavior. Also the dog knowing about Hollow being a wolf wasn't really surprising. We see Hollow tell Lawrence to protect Nora at all costs to ease his concerns. At night, the group reviews their plans and tries to rest. Hollow wakes up sensing nearby wolves, prompting Nora to blow her horn and a neck to guard the sheep. Nora informs Martin about the wolves, but none appear. Hollow warns of a bigger threat possibly lurking. In the morning, Martin leaves to negotiate with people in Lantra. Meanwhile, Nora, Hollow, and Lawrence rest. Nora asks Hollow about her wolf knowledge and perception of Lawrence. Hollow jokingly suggests Inek might be smitten with her, making Nora laugh and decide to keep an eye on him. So Hollow finally talked with Nora, and everything seemed to be pretty normal, but I'm guessing Hollow can sense something from Nora, otherwise Hollow avoiding her for all this time wouldn't make much sense. Also Hollow and Nora making fun of Lawrence was a bit unexpected. Moving on we see Nora reveal her plan to quit her shepherd career in the future, regardless of her success. Later, Martin returns with a bag of gold and suggests moving to the next stage of their plan, but Lawrence insists they rest for the night. The group heads through the forest, but a pack of wolves chases them in the rain. Inek and Nora perform impressive techniques to ward off the wolves, impressing Hollow with their teamwork. Suddenly, more wolves surround Hollow and Lawrence. Hollow menacingly stares at the wolves, who then retreat into the forest. While riding their horse, Hollow tells Lawrence to instruct Nora and Martin to go ahead. I expected the wolves to attack them at some point, because they need to showcase Nora's skills properly at least once. Also if things go too smoothly then the plan fails, that's the basic notion in fiction. Next we see Hollow plans to separate from the group to deal with the forest's bigger threat, telling Lawrence the big wolf wants to fight her. Lawrence instructs Martin and Nora to head to Rubenhagen, with Hollow promising they will meet them there. After Nora and Martin depart, Hollow tells Lawrence to flee so she doesn't have to worry about him. She hopes to resolve things peacefully with the big wolf and gives Lawrence her coat before heading into the forest. Hollow mocks the big wolf for his ignorance and plans to teach him a lesson. Later, while Lawrence is in the forest starting a campfire, he hears several men roaming through the woods. I understand that at this point saving Lawrence means everything to Hollow, and that she is very loyal because she is a wolf, but it looks to me as if Hollow has a self-sacrificing tendency and doesn't value her own life much. Also I knew something was off, the moment Martin ran off like a coward. At the end we see that the men tell Lawrence that Martin instructed them to enter the forest to find him and Hollow. Lawrence leads them to his campsite and informs them that Hollow isn't with him. The men then attack Lawrence, revealing the Ramirio Trading Company's betrayal. They state that the Ramirio Trading Company needs to eliminate all threats to their company and discuss harming Nora, which enrages Lawrence. After pummeling him to the ground, they tie him up and plan to regroup with Martin, leaving Lawrence tied up and despairing over Hollow's potential fate. Obviously, our duo won't die here, but I wonder whether something will happen to Nora, because this story likes to keep things very real, so it's quite a possibility. Also things will start to annoy me if Lawrence keeps getting betrayed like this. Nonetheless, it was a great episode with some unexpected twists and turns. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, 
You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then, see ya.